I'm back to my permanent part-time member status at this point. So whenever <laughs> I'm available or they're having a special event and they call me, I have the honor and, and pleasure of being able to join them. So That's cool. Yeah. I, this relationship. It's an open relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 uh, yeah, I checked them out and uh, I was really impressed because uh, uh, the guitar player, um, I, I don't know his name, but I really Happy. like him. Eric Weingrad is his name. Okay, yeah, he's great. Um, oh, he and, sure is. and Patty's been on the show here. She did like one of our first uh, acoustic songs uh, live shows here at East Studio. Mm -hmm. I was just practicing at her house the other day because um, we're doing this show with Blues Go Pink, and then also Patty's doing her CD release party coming up right. next Saturday, the 13th, at PB's Pub. Yeah. And our girl band was opening up that show, Women oh, on great. Top, which was started because oh. of. Oh, something yeah. that the cause does every year in Potter County, Pennsylvania. Oh, cool. So we started our girl band on top, and she she told me where this was. I didn't even know that it was here at Washington Jefferson College. Oh. <laughs> I said I was going to get home to Mitch this week and find out where I'm supposed to go. Where the so, school is. Well, I know there. I knew where the school is, but I didn't know that it was at the school. Yeah. That you did your show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know um, either until I, I was. Uh, involved. Uh, I'm involved with environmental stuff. That's my uh, my thing. Uh, I was actually environmental science major before I got sucked into the internet, and I kind of popped back out of the internet. And um, so now I, I spent some time devoting to that. And uh, I didn't know it was here. I was asked to come on the show through my involvement with the Center for Cultural Justice. And, uh, I had no idea the radio station was here. And then one thing led to another. It was like. Hey, do you want to be yeah, a host? Yeah. I said, what, are you checking my bucket list? I, you know, it's like, when I was 12, my dad talked me out of being a DJ, so I'm still trying to pay him back for that. <laughs> but he was, he was an old school, like, old school hippie. He said, you know, you're going to have to play the songs that the man wants you to play. And, I mean, that was how he turned me out. Talk, talk me out of it. Like, ah, you can't play what you want to play now. This is in the 70s, you know. He's like, you can't play what you want to play. It's, uh, you know, you have a list. You, you can't really play your own music that you want to play. And this is back in 1975, probably, that he's telling me this. So imagine now, you know, I mean, with Clear Channel on the entire universe. And, and, so, uh, so you have a show like this where you can pick your friends that you want to come exactly. play music and exactly. So you get to it's exceeded my wildest dreams, and I've really enjoyed it. So you, other than the you know the cause, and um, you're involved with a number of uh, organizations, Hearts Coming Together, Humani Humanitarian Foundation, uh, Phoenix Global Humanitarian right. Foundation. Those are I work with in Ohio. Um, to do. We, we uh, all get together whenever we can to promote wellness around the world and uh, make the world a better place however we can. Uh, that's musicians getting together with folks such as Alex Simon from Stomp. Um, and um, POJs are based in Canton, Ohio. Oh, um, really? We actually have made the love train a reality two years in a row now in August during the OJ's um, anniversary celebration when we raise money for the scholarship fund. We've got on a train and rode from Canton to Akron and back to Canton. Talked about how we can make the world a better place with clean water for the world and finding cures for the, this and that sort of ailment and such. And then on the way back, um, we can and we make music. And Eddie Levert from the OJs was on the team the first year. Um, this past year, the band wasn't able to get back in town because they were out and about around the country before um, the actual OJ celebration happened the next day. But anyways, the love train is a real physical thing and next August we plan on um, having more than one train car dedicated to the event. So, um, awesome. Jump on the love chain with us. Did you see the uh, Rally to s Restore Sanity and or Fear daily show uh, broadcast that they did from D.C.? No. Oh, uh, you got if you can pick it up and record it, they, 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 that was the best part, I think, is they had uh, uh, formerly Cat Stevens, Usef, come out on stage and he started playing, you know, the Peace Train oh, yeah. tune. And then uh, Stephen Colbert jumps up, says no, 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 and all of a sudden brings out Ozzy, and he's the one crazy train. You know? uh, and then all of a sudden, 
the OJs come out on stage and did love trains. And that was the it was the way that they combined it. Said no, no, it's all about love. And they did the OJs. The OJs came out and did the love train. So it was like this, you know, battle. And they were going back and forth too. Craziness. Yeah, I mean, they literally were doing like one one bar of. Peace train, one bar of crazy train, one bar of peace train, one, and then all of a sudden the OJs like came out on the stage. So uh, I wanted to bring that up. That's anyway, uh, in case you just joined us, we have Cheryl, Ann, Hawk, and the Lift to Love family thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd like you to play some more music if you don't mind. All right, let's yeah. do another another song, kids. Are you ready to to sing about our our, our tasty flavoring? Oh yeah, I've heard about this. And the special we'll share spices. some with Mitch when we're done too. We brought some. So you can taste the, uh, the combination. Uh-uh. The delicious combination. Ready? Ready? Come on over and get into your spots again. I have to make a that. that combination, I guess, when I read the cinnamon, salt, and stevia, was it? Um, well, I haven't been eating sugar, so I've been eating stevia instead, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, as part of um, my regimen of not eating sugar, I've been eating a lot of coconut oil. Um, mm. It comes out hard, so it's just like a big chunk of yumminess, mm. and it tastes better if you put yummy stuff on it. And we, we like to put cinnamon on, on apples and, and such, so we thought, ooh, we'll put some cinnamon and stevia together, and then, um, so it was your idea to add the salt, right? Mm -hmm. we, we, uh, Just like MSG, yeah. one salt, one sugar, yeah. everything's good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the natural way. <laughs> so we're putting it on all kinds of things. I've been sprinkled on all my almonds, and let me get some from my bag for you. Oh, thank you. We brought some well, the big and Salt and stevia. Let's see, we're going on, I, I, well, it's well over a year, like, we're, we're a vegetarian family, and uh, within reason, I, the kids still, you know, kind of uh, slip into, uh, you know, they want to do their McDonald's thing every once in a while, which is... Then there's that good. Halloween holiday. There's a spring. Oh, right. Here, get yourself an apple out of there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... So the the cha the challenge of with um, food and kids have you have you ran into that at all like getting kids to eat healthy I would like to know oh, absolutely but at the same time if you don't feed them the junk food they get hungry enough that they'll eat the other stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah my 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 one son 
He loves vegetables ever since he was a kid, man. I mean, like, give me broccoli. Like, you're a freak, you know? Like, how can you?